museum shows have a have a nice impact because you know openings are are hectic and so many people you don't get a chance to really see the work clearly because there's a lot of people and for me the best experience of seeing art is in a quiet way so openings are a celebration the pope and the three michael jacksons and the rape of africa and, and the preparatory sketches for that piece um were the show well, I thought these were pictures that had enormous impact because they're based on classical paintings with a twist, with a variation. Uh, and I thought they were stunning, really. The picture I was most drawn to was um, the one with the Pope. And uh, at first, it's kind of, you don't really take note of all the detail. When you really look closely, I, I personally think it talks about kind of the rape of the church, the rape of the common people. And uh, it's about money, and control, and greed, and lies. I'll definitely take the book one, because I love the size. I love the fact that uh, the criticism, and he couldn't be more actual uh, than he did, actually. Which, uh, we all know what the problem is in the, in the church at the moment. I was picking up on, on Botticelli's idea that, you know, we're still plagued with the same problems mankind has faced since since the beginning you know and it was still relevant it's not the catholic church i'm i'm angry about it. it's the structure of it it's the it's the corruption of it the corrupt people not the good people because to, to just condemn the whole thing is it's like you know condemning a nation it's too big you can't but there are there, there is corruption there, there is bad people in good places. Well, without taking sides in a controversial argument, I think the one about the Catholic Church and the Pope makes a tremendous impact. Whether you agree with its message or not, you can't avoid it. Um, I thought that was a really very stunning painting. And this one, of course, also, and what's happening in Africa, and the child fighter, the child mercenary, if you like. I mean, they make huge impact. As a black woman from the third world, that sort of thing just really immediately goes for the jugular with somebody like me. Um, to other people, it might seem serene. For me, it says resignation. Resignation that this is how it is, and you've kind of given up. And um, the serenity of the white man sleeping, contrasting with the black woman, and all the spots. But then you, 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 you step in a bit closer and you see the flies. So you know there's something rotting there. So it makes, it forces you to think a little bit harder. I actually learned some things from people coming to a woman from Africa who really was and she was telling me so much about the picture from her perspective and other people. And, 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 and that's all I wanted. It's not to spoon feed people exactly what the meaning is. It's to give them something that they can interpret, you know? And if people want to look at it as a strictly like a political thing and the rape of Africa, they can. But for me, it's, 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 a, it's, it's, it's that, but it's also those other layers. And, and, and the other layer for me was the idea of greed and the idea of security and that there is no security. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a fallacy. And that's my only hope, is just to get people to look and feel something. Um, the rape of Africa, in as much as I like it, it still it gives me so much pain because it reminds me of what has to change you know in terms of current society and what's actually going on with our lives and, and what's going on in the world at the moment you have the triptych of michael who i mean i grew up with and that's the sort of thing and, and you see the evolution of the dead michael and the sort of Michael the Archangel and Michael the, the Mary figure and it's it's all oh wow. No one ever in our lifetime that'll be like Michael Jackson. In terms of being the most famous person on the planet, it's the most loved 
every corner of the earth. And then to have to, to, to love children, be so consistent with that. Since he was a child, he would say, I see the face of God in children. And he was a child himself, he, he would say things like that. You know, and this purity and the beauty that he brought the the world, the, the incalculable number of hours people have spent dancing and you, know, you put a Michael Jackson record on and just watch what happens to a room. The joy that he's brought the world and to be punished, to be tortured, to the televised witch hunt which became his life. And then meanwhile you have pedophilia going rampant in the Catholic Church for ever and ever. Um, in America and in England especially the wacko jacko, the nightmare that his life became. Michael wasn't a victim, he was a hero. And I'm shocked that he lived 50 years. I'm amazed that he lived that long. Most people would never have lasted through that. He was very strong, but he had a lot of faith. And what he gave to the world, those pictures commemorate that. They're, they're photos of a king. What I really liked seeing was the work in process sketches because I like to see the development of an artist's work and because he draws on so many different influences and themes it's really good having those opposite the final piece so that it could track the development of the work. I, I always do preparatory sketches and drawings and you know sometimes collages, it depends on how intense the pieces that I'm making. I try to work it out, I try to inspire myself. I try to um, make, you know, for Rape of Africa, was, there was, like, the reasons for it. And there was sort of, like, that was that section. And then there was how it was going to look. And then there was palette. And then what she was going to look like. And then, you know, what the body that, you know, what, 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 what elements I wanted to play with. And so it's my instruction booklet. It's, it's my guide. And it's my inspiration. And, and the more I do that, the more I figure it. I figure it all out, you know, in every way, not just in in, in in this sort of conceptual way, but also in just in a very compositional way and, and palette and things like that, and what people wear and the details that I want in it, the props that I might need. And I made them into these collages and I had fun doing it and I was really relaxed when I did it because I never thought anyone was going to look at it. So there was this sort of personal freedom because I, did, I was doing them for myself. That little man you know, on the cross, he, he just sort of represented untold hundreds of thousands of millions of, 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 of workers who are mining for gold and whose lives are, are devastated and who are suffering. And in the bigger scheme of things, you know, the rape of Africa represents human behavior and we have to figure out a way to change it individually. You know, it just starts with us, and we have to make those changes. And, you know, we inherited this earth, but we have to do the best we can with what we've got. But that still means we have to be joyful. I mean, I think that we still, it's part of our job as human beings, you know, to, 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 to be happy, to be joyful, to, to celebrate, you know, to make joyful noise. That's key sit and moping and getting full of anxiety over, over, the, over, the, over the troubles of the world are so immense that we have to give it up and just do what we can. But we can't let those things destroy our lives or we're just becoming part of that, of that, of that darkness. And we have to stay in the light.